guys, what is up? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, I want to be sharing my six and nine months baby must have. If you're new to my channel, my son Charlie, he's nine months old. I've created videos for newborn essentials, three and four months must haves. I have a baby lead weaning must have video. So today, I just want to share what we've been loving these past three months. First things first, I'm not going to mention any type of um, things that we use in the kitchen, like food wise for him, cutlery and all that, just because I have created a baby lead weaning must have videos. I don't want to repeat myself, so I'll link it down below if you want to check that one. In this video, I'm going to mention some toys, some attire, safe items that we've been loving, as well as some like bigger items. So the first thing that I want to talk about is safety items. When your baby hits the six to nine months, if they start crawling, you need a like baby proof your health and it can be really overwhelming you'll find that they'll injure themselves with pretty much everything and they're going to touch everything that they're not allowed to so just be prepared and um, get some safety things the main four things that i recommend are these door stoppers these are super important i don't know what it is with babies please tell me that your baby is the same and it's not just mine but opening and closing doors become their favorite thing. So if you get one of these, that's gonna prevent the little fingers from getting hurt in the door. I bought this one off AliExpress. I bought all of my safety items from the big item that I'll show you guys off AliExpress. I ordered these when he was probably four months old. It does take around a month to get here. However, a pack of five of these cost me $2. So you have to weigh up what's more important. If you want to get something last minute, I know that Kmart in New Zealand have items that you can grab, or if you want um, cheaper items and you have time to get things in advance and order them off AliExpress because at the end of the day, they all do the same things. I was just happy that I thought about it early enough so that it got here in time when I need it. My second recommendation are the plug insert. Again, these are just great so that your baby doesn't put their little fingers in the tiny little holes of the wall outlets because again, they're gonna love to do that. I bought a pack of 10 off AliExpress and I think it cost me $3. And then the last thing I got off AliExpress is these cabinet hooks. I'll open it and actually show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. I just think that this one's the easiest one. Like the stickies are probably not that good. It can fall off. If you have other stickers or like Velcro stickers at home, you could just put that as well. Personally, I feel like for our family, these were just the easiest ones. You can get magnet ones, you can get more fancy ones, but I don't have time to look around for my tiny little magnet to open my jaws. These ones you just press on the button and lift it up like that. Again, these were really inexpensive. Like I mentioned, the sticky part isn't the best, but you can add your own stickers at the back and it just makes it not fall off. The last thing that I want to recommend for safety items is a baby gate. If you have a house with a front door, you want to leave the front door open. If you've got like a step or stairs or anything, baby gates will be your best friend. I'll pop a photo up of the one that I have. I was very lucky that I was able to thrift this one, meaning that I got it for a way cheaper price than it is. Baby gates are actually surprisingly really, really expensive. So if you can thrift one, then go ahead. Like I don't think there's any specific like fancier version for a baby gate. At the end of the day, very much like those safety items, they all do the same thing. So it's really up to you. Do your research, see which one you like, see which one fits in the part that you have, work around it. Hopefully you don't have to spend too much money on one, but yeah, baby gates are really, really important for the six to nine months must-haves because they start crawling and they just want to leave your house. The next thing that I want to talk about are toys for babies at six to nine months. I have created a video where I share some DIY toys that I make. I'm a big believer in the thrifting toys and creating toys. Honestly, I find that toys are very, very expensive for the small amount of time they will use them. And Charlie does have some new toys. He's been gifted some new toys, but we have thrifted a lot of toys and we have DIYed a lot of toys, or I have gotten some toys off AliExpress. And that's the first one that I want to recommend, which is great for this age, and that is the stacking cup game. This is one of Charlie's favorite games. It is so much fun that we can play together. As you can see, we're missing like two I think at the moment he was playing with these today and I can't for the life of me find where they are but you get the idea I'll also insert a photo of what they look like 
I got this off AliExpress. Again, I ordered this in advance. It cost me $6, I think. And brand new in a store in New Zealand, it would probably cost me around $30. I got it when he was like four months old again, and it arrived when he was like five, five and a half. So it does take a while to get here. Personally, I think that's worth it. Yeah, these are so much fun. He loves them. He will pull them out individually. He's learned to pull them out and he can't stack them yet but i'll stack them out and then he'll just break the little tower the second toy that i recommend is that blocks and this will teach them balance there are so many blocks made to teach balance for babies around that age um i can link some down below that i find on amazon again i was very lucky i thrifted some blocks this is what they look like so they're just regular blocks i got a whole pack from an op shop it cost me like two dollars and um yeah i just really like these toys because like i mentioned around this age they will learn balance so you, you can put one on the floor and they will learn slowly and steadily to put one on top of each other and that just teaches balance for babies which is super important the last two toys that I want to recommend are bigger items, so I'll show you guys some b-roll of that. The first one is the Jolly Bouncer. This is a very controversial item, meaning you need to do your research on this item. I am sharing it because personally, Charlie loves it. He finds it so much fun. We have a lot of fun with the Jolly Jumper, but I know that there is a lot of mixed feedback in regards to this item. But I just recommend that you do your research and you see whether that fits you and your family. At the end of the day, you know what's best for your baby, but I still just want to recommend what we're really enjoying. So we're loving the Jolly Jumper. And the last item that we're really loving is our ball pit. I bought this ball pit of Kmart. There are some beautiful ball pits of Amazon that are very stylish, very expensive. And so I decided to get a cheaper option of Kmart. This one cost me, I think around $30. It came with a few balls and then I bought a pack of more balls. He loves this and it also is really good because if I need him to stay in one place for a short period of time, I can pop him in there. Usually, he doesn't escape. So if I'm cooking, I pop him in the ball pit, I pop the ball pit next to me, and usually, not always, but usually he doesn't escape. And the last thing that I wanna talk about is attire and baby items that they wear around the six to nine months. I don't have many um, specific items that I wanna talk about, but I do wanna mention these two items. So when your baby hits six months and above, if they have learned to roll over, you do need to remove them out of a swaddle. I have talked about using the Love to Dream as a transitional swaddle. I have talked about what swaddles I liked in my newborn selection. And now I want to talk about what sleep sack we like. In New Zealand, we are loving the GoGo sleep bag. It is designed in New Zealand and it is 100% New Zealand merino and 100% Pima cotton. So the inner is merino and the outer is cotton. I still think you can probably buy this if you're not in New Zealand. I'll have to make sure, but I'll link it down below anyway. It is very expensive. It is one of the most expensive sleep bags that I've ever seen. But personally, I just think that it's so warm. Like sometimes I've checked the temperature of his monitor and it will show that it's like 14 degrees. But if I touch Charlie, he is super snug in this little sleep sack. I really think it's because of the inner merino. It does keep him super warm. And also what I do like about it is that it does have the seatbelt option. So if you have him in the pram and you wanna walk around with a sleep sack, then you can use that and pop the belt through there. The last thing I want to mention is some grip socks. This might be common sense, but also you might not think about it. Like I bought a bag of baby socks of someone who was selling them. And when there was grip socks in there, I didn't think too much of it. I used to put them on him when he was a newborn. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just was like, okay, cool. These ones have like grippy sticky bits at the bottom. Like, didn't think much of it. Now that he's learned to stand on furniture and he walks around at the furniture, like he'll grab the couch and walk around. And um, sometimes his pajamas like a little bit too big and he slips over or his socks aren't grippy, he'll slip over because we do have wooden floors. So grip socks will be your best friend for this. This is what I mean by grip sock. See how it has those little white bits? That's just gonna prevent him from slipping. So like I mentioned, this might be common sense for you, but also it might not be, it really wasn't common sense for me, which is why I want to mention it. Um, but there you go, that is 
everything that I wanted to mention for my six to nine months of baby must haves. I really try and create lists that are going to be the things you really need in expensive items. I don't like to ever recommend something that's going to cost so much money and isn't necessary because yeah i understand that you know everything in life is really expensive and i understand budgeting i understand not being able to afford the most amazing quality things out there so yeah i just try and create a list that's affordable for uh, everyone i hope that's the right terms i am um, i hope you understand what i mean i just want to create like a more affordable list and that's what i try and do in all my videos so anyway i hope you that you've enjoyed listening to my six and nine months baby must haves please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video also please subscribe if you don't already because i upload videos every single week thank you so much guys for watching this video and i'll see you all in my next one bye